Hey, welcome back to Nancy Drew, Midnight in Salem. We are on part 13. Spooky. <laughs> okay, so on our to-do list is um, finding the source of the Argo poisoning. Okay, so that's what we... Well, we were kind of trying to do that in the last part too, I think. Hmm. Because, so Frank and Joe are in the cemetery looking for the source of the ergot poisoning. Oh, what's this? How cute. Kitty cakes? Frank cakes? This is like pancake cookbook. Okay, um. Let's see. That is not a clue though. <laughs> Uh, okay. Let's see. Um, I don't know. I was kind of looking around this the kitchen one looks fun. to see if there was more Johnny cakes coming up. Poisoning evidence. Um, yeah. No, we were just making pancakes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. So yeah. Um, I don't know if there's anything more we can really do at the house. Uh, May might be in her room upstairs, but we never even get the option to knock on her door. So uh, I guess we'll go back to the town square. It is raining hard out now. Yeah, it's like the weather is getting worse and worse in the game. I like that. Personally, I like that like build up. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think I've said it before, but I really like the like weather atmosphere in this game. That's like one improvement I guess they've made with this new format. Um, alright, should we talk to you? Oh, oh, turn around. Should we talk to Frank and Joe again? This is taking too long. Okay. See you later. Well, it doesn't seem like they have any news for us. So Well, if they haven't found anything, I'm not sure I know where to go next to look for the Ergot poisoning source. Hmm. I don't know, should we just keep trying to talk to people? I mean, we already asked all those questions to Olivia. How are you feeling, Olivia? Uh, I didn't sleep at all last night. I still have that ghost in my head, and my hands... Burn, right? Like pins and needles. Yeah. How'd you know? Didn't we already have this conversation? Talk to you later. Okay. Well, that was not helpful. Um... <laughs> Should Nancy, we talk to Tia? Hey, she was texting us, right? Going? Okay. Talk to you later. No follow up there. Um, we could go back to the courthouse, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure if um, Judge Danforth and Alicia will be any help in finding the source of the orchid poisoning. We are supposed to talk to Alicia about like Jason's alibi, I guess, for the day the evidence went missing. Mm, let's see if they're still. They're still just Come standing on, here, and they cannot help us. <laughs> okay. I mean, there's no way we would need to talk to you more and again, is there? Ladies, ladies, Definitely ladies. Definitely not Jason, right? Bye, bye, bye. So, <laughs> what's up? You guys looking for? It's just yeah, it's like later. the same conversations that we've already had. That we can't have the full conversation, just the like greeting to the conversation. The shops aren't making a lot of business right now. Hmm. You would think they would be busy at Halloween in Salem. I mean, we're done How's talking business? to Lauren, right? Slow, thankfully. Mm. Talk to you okay. later. Yeah, that question we can ask Lauren about the herbs. I think that's just how we get back into her, like, potion making 
um, chore that Nancy can do. Okay. I think I'm a little stuck. I am not sure how we're supposed to find the source of the ergot poisoning. Oh. I mean... Yeah, maybe we can call someone? I don't know if we could call that would be helpful. Try calling our dad. You okay? How's the case coming along? Well, we were poisoned, but um <laughs> I wanna talk about Jason that. Danforth. The judge's son. He's a real piece of work. I think the judge probably agrees with you. I don't know him personally, but I've heard stories. Oh he my claims gosh. that during the time in which stories? the accused witch's evidence was stolen, he was helping Alicia Cole. I guess he does work for her. Hmm, okay. Accused witches are... Claimants against the Hathorn estate. They're trying to take control of the property as reciprocity for their ancestors having that land and life stolen from them by the original Judge Hathorn. And that's valid? According to the judge, yes. But back to Jason. Sounds like he's short of cash constantly. But I see him driving a fancy car around town. Looks like he lives a pretty comfortable lifestyle to me. Money is always a prime motivator. He could be receiving money from someone to commit one of these crimes. Or he could have a financial stake in the property. The fact that he's tying his alibi to Alicia is interesting. But if he was tied into the Hathorn House estate, I can only imagine that it's through his father. The judge? Hmm. Is he on your list? Everyone is a suspect until they aren't. You taught me that. Right. Okay. Who else? Mm, yeah, everyone's on our list of suspects right now. Um... Talk to you later. Thanks. Yeah, I think I discovered one problem. inconsistency in your case. What? Jason Danforth wasn't with Alicia Cole the day the AW evidence was stolen. I talked to Alicia for a few hours, including during oh, the time right. of the burglary. You have the times nailed down. Danforth mentioned them when we talked about getting the Book of Apologies. Thanks, Dad. This is super helpful. Nice work. It's all you, kiddo. Let me know how it goes. Good luck. Oh, yeah, okay. I was going to say that phone call was not helpful, but... Um... Yeah, so our dad <laughs> disproved Jason's alibi. Yeah, let's go talk to him again. Something he's so, not telling us. What's up? You guys looking for directions or You weren't working for Alicia on the day the evidence was stolen. Oh come on. Yes, I was. You're lying. Jason, we confirmed with Alicia that she was running errands. But she was alone. What? But she... Jason, Cupcake, just tell us what you were doing. Cupcake? Jason, serious crimes have been committed. If you have anything to do with them or know anything about them, now is the time to tell us. Get yourself out from underneath this, because I assure you, you will be the one to take the fall. Yeah, you really think so? Hey, buddy. She's done this many times already. She knows a thing or two about catching perps. Still not working. Let me do it. It's my thing. Jason? Derek is I like must have just been call. doing errands by myself. Oh, Jason. Oh, so he still won't confess? See you later. Oh, these teenagers really, like... I guess that's the teenager too. Um, yeah, they are not telling their secrets. It's really annoying. Serious crimes have been committed. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't really know what to do next. Like, aren't they looking for the source of the This is poison? taking too long. See you later. Can we not dig a few holes in the graveyard ourselves? No. Okay. Hmm. I mean. I don't think there's anyone else we can call who would be helpful. We already talked to Damien, right? I haven't talked to Dr. Elizabeth in a long time, but um, I don't know. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Hi. You again. Um, what's up? Oh wow. 
wrong number. <laughs> Sorry. Right. No problem. Bye. Well, that was embarrassing. Oh, that was so awkward. <laughs> um. Okay. We can try Dr. Elizabeth. I really need Beth and George to help me hey, out in this me game. Again. Nancy, I hope it's not too late at night for you. Don't worry about it. What is this about? I was wondering what you know about ergot poisoning. Oh. Ergotism, also known as St. Anthony's Fire. Horrible symptoms of convulsion, gangrene, and hallucination. I don't know the science behind it, but I do know of several suspected incidents of ergot epidemics throughout history up into the 19th century including the Salem Witch Trials on that note. How likely is it for an epidemic to break out again today? Nowadays, not very. The food industry has the technology to keep your rye bread ergot free and a great interest in upholding their reputation. Thanks again for your insight. Have a nice night. Good luck and take care. Yeah, so I guess the historian, Dr. Elizabeth, knows about that stuff, but... Um... Yeah, I don't... Didn't really progress anywhere. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where to go next. Yeah. Hmm. I might be watering in circles a little bit here. I feel like there's usually, like, I often hit this point in Nancy Drew games where I'm like, there's just a point where I don't know who to talk to next to, like, I unlock the next step. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess that is where we are at in this game. Hmm. Okay. So, nothing in the courthouse. I mean, I feel like we need to talk to May again. Will she be home if we talk to May? I feel like it all leads back How's to war and too. Sl talk to you later. You know, like it was her tea that seemed to be the catalyst. But then how did Nancy get the ergot poisoning, right? Because we think Nancy had it too. Mm. Okay. Uh, I guess we can go home. Yeah, I'm not sure if anything will come from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I hate seeing this house with all the graffiti over it. That is depressing. Yeah, Mae's not in like her favorite chair in the living room, so... Well, I don't know where she is. Um... Johnny No. <laughs> Don't wanna do that. No, oh what? no. Sorry, sorry about this. I mean, we could make more pancakes, but I mean it's like a food poisoning. I thought there might be something in the kitchen. But I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean like, is it the end of the day? Should we just go to bed? I probably shouldn't be in May's room without an invitation. Yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah, I don't know what we Ugh. can do here. <laughs> Deirdre just makes, like, a disparaging noise when we, t like, turn to talk to her. I don't know, should we like finish our chat with Ned? I don't really want to. Ned's being kind of annoying Hello. right now. You've reached the voicemail inbox of yeah. Ned Nickerson. Okay. Voicemail. Hmm. Okay. I don't think there's anything we can do here. Like, yeah. There's no more Oh, oh. 
not what I Hi. meant to do. <laughs> you the phone of okay, this is also Professor? awkward. Um, yeah, no, I was trying to see if there's anything else we could see on the checklist. No. There's no more detail, there's just what's left for us to do, I think. Mm. Yeah. Should we... I don't know, should we check the Hathorn house again or something? I don't know, I mean... I don't know why we would, but... But I guess we can, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Oh, it seems so light over here. Like, is it only raining at the Perry house? Oh, have we been this way before? We can't go inside Lauren's house, can we? No. See anything here except one of those orange a candles? A wooden decoration. Oh. Okay, there's those. snapdragons. <laughs> yeah, well spotted, Nancy. Why can I not walk down this path? Okay, I have to go this way. I don't really think there's going to be anything in here. There's nothing that we haven't seen before. Right. that we haven't talked to? Mm -hmm. I don't really think so. I think we've talked to everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, well... I guess we've done <laughs> almost nothing in this part so far. You know what? Yeah, I don't... I really don't know what the next step is, so I think maybe we'll leave this part right here. It'll be a short part, but um... Yeah, I think we'll leave it right here while I figure out what we need to do next, because I am just stuck at this point. Alright guys, well thanks for watching.